This is Andy from HowEFIWorks.com. Today I'd like to demonstrate high-speed data logging, the sort of thing you do when you're having trouble getting a motor started. Uh, commonly, we'd be chasing down a lost sink here. So to troubleshoot through that sort of thing, what we do is up at the top, diagnostic and high-speed data loggers right here. We're going to start that. We're going to hit the uh, drop-down box and hit Composite Logger. It's the top one. Hit Start, and as soon as I hit Start, I'm going to hold the Starter button until either I see a flash on the screen or about 10 seconds. So hit Start, crank the motor. And I've got nothing. Nope, there we go. Stop. So I have three pages, as you can see in the bottom right corner. And let me go through just to see. Okay, I did get something. So what I want to do is file, save. And I'm going to take the default, except calling that comp log. Log. Save. Now, the next thing I want to do is go to tooth log. It's the third one down. I'm going to hit clear just to make sure that the log is cleared. Hit start. And I'm going to crank the motor for a few seconds. One, two, three, four. We got something. So I'll hit stop, file, save log as. And I'm going to call that space tooth log. Save. The last one I'm going to do is something a little special in the um, MS world. Is under ignition settings, the top is ignition options and wheel decoder. And instead of having toothed wheel, which is what I normally run, I'm going to come down a couple of screens and log, crank, and cam. Hit burn, close. Just to play it safe, I'm going to reset the ECU. So going to CAN bus, engine control. This is a feature that's going to be in the next release on the 1.5.1 release code. Firmware. And burn and close. Now what I'm going to do is hit, go back to composite log. Start. I'm going to crank the motor again. One, two, three, four, five. I got something. Stop. File. Save current log as crank and cam. One thing to note, no motor will start when set to crank and cam. So I'm going to go back to ignition settings and set them back to the way they were. And near the top, I happen to have a toothed wheel. Burn and close. My motor was not starting because I had the injectors uh, powered down and I also had no power to the coils. So what I want to do is then you want to save your current tune off. Save tune as, and it will default to today's date, and I'm going to do uh, tooth testing. Save. Now I'm going to shrink down Tuner Studio, and for demonstration purposes, I'm going to delete this. What I'm going to do is create a desktop shortcut to your data logs. The easiest way to do that is down in the bottom left corner in Windows 10 is to type in Tuner Tuner Studio the, the best way to do that is in the lower left corner of the Windows 10 
So now, what I want to do is create a shortcut to my data logs. The easiest way to do that is go down in the bottom left corner of Windows 10 and type in Tuner Studio Projects. And up here at the top, I get a file folder called Tuner Studio Projects. I'm going to double click on that. My car happens to be the CRX, and here are the data logs right there. So I'm going to double click on that. Now there's an icon, a little yellow folder right there. What I want to do is drag that onto my desktop. From then on, I will have an easy link to my data logs. And I'm going to put it right next to Mega Log Viewer. Double click on that and sort by date. And I see the three logs that I just did on today's date. One thing I'd like to do is go back to the CRX directory. Here's my tooth logging, right mouse click, copy. That's the tune. I want to also put that in that directory. So I go back to the directory. There it is, right mouse click and paste. Take the top one, shift, take the bottom one, right mouse click, and send to a compressed folder. I can go ahead and keep that zip, uh, that name. It happened to grab the name of the composite log. Next, I will shrink this down a little bit so I can still see it. And I'm going to jump on the internet. I happen to have a link that goes straight to the forum. And I'm going to post a new topic, sample data logs, and I'm going to come down on the subject and just type sample. In your case, please give a concise description of the problem that you're having with the car, such as it's losing sync at high RPM or possibly hard start. I'm going to upload attachments, browse. I'm already at the data log directory, so I'm going to grab the zip file I just created today, hit open, and add this top, add this file right here. It went ahead and added it, so I'm going to hit submit. I'd like to say thanks to my friends at TunerStudio.com, the developers of Megalog Viewer HD and Tuner Studio. Also, DIY Auto-Tune suppliers of all these great parts that we use to tune our motors and build these EFI setups, including uh, the MS Pro series of ECUs, and also the guys at uh, msextra.com, where I personally hang out as Whittle Beast. Thank you.